Eric back on the naturopath. Thanks for coming back. Can a liver detox uh, cause mouth sores? Is that possible? Well, when you detox the liver, <coughs> excuse me, anything can happen. It really depends. That's like saying, you're asking me, for example, a question. There's a house over there. If I go in there and clean that house, am I going to be getting any dirt on me? Or, And then my question to you is, well, how old's the house? What's been done to the house? Have you had um, 35 teenagers in there partying for like five years or something? Have you had an old couple sitting in there watching maybe religious programs on Sunday morning? Or what's happening with the house? You see the point I'm getting at? I need to know more about the liver. I need to know about the person who owns the liver, how they treated the liver. Um, you know, did the person drink a bottle of whiskey a day for two years or something? Um, you know what I mean? So it's a big difference. Every liver is going to be different. Livers become fatty with many people in the West, and that's because too many carbs, too many sugars, too much of the wrong food, poor activity. The liver is a huge immune organ. It contains lots of cells called Kupfer cells. Kupfer, K-U-P-F-E-R cells. And these are immune cells. So the health of the, the state of the liver has a big effect on the whole um, organism of the whole body. And medical doctors often laugh when we talk about detoxification or cleansing um, of the liver. When you talk to a medical doctor about detox, they're thinking about the Betty Ford Clinic. But I can assure you, liver detoxification is a very, very um, good thing to do and a powerful thing to do. And it doesn't need to involve large amounts of herbs and purging and vomiting like people did in the old days. Liver cleansing could just mean for you stop drinking alcohol for several months, six months. It's a hard call for a lot of people in the West, but that's one of the more powerful things you can do for cleansing the liver. Now notice how I said, um, take the alcohol away, not put like St. Mary's thistle or liver herbs in, but rather take something out to detox because people need to get rid of crap in their life before they can clean up the gut. <clears throat> so, Common things that people report to me, I've made notes here, headaches, congestion, irritability, stuffy nose or runny nose, itchy skin, skin kind of problems, mouth ulcers, definitely, I've seen that many times, muscle or joint pains, um, gas, all sorts of issues. So these are all short-term sort of cleansing signs. They'll all clear up in time. It's not really a big problem. Many people feel really bad when you know they go through a, a cleanse and something happens, some big symptom gets produced and they run off to the doctor who will say, oh my goodness, you're seeing that witch doctor again. See, now you've got a whole new disease. Well, you haven't, you've got crap in the body that's coming out, but it's seen as a disease, right? So the interesting thing is with the liver, as I mentioned, it's an immune organ. So when it does get a little bit sick or tired, it can make you more prone to a reduced immune efficiency in the body. And of course, one of the easiest areas to get a problem with poor immunity is inside the mouth, the mouth sore. So as soon as you breach that wall with a healthy immune system, you'll get a bit of inflammation and it'll heal really fast, but not with a poor liver. All right, it, Mouth sores are horrible and they can stay like that for a long time. Rinse your mouth just with a bit of salty water and take it easy eating soft foods for a while and you'll soon recover. But yes, it is a symptom. Drink plenty of water. It helps the liver a lot. But the alcohol is the big one. Thanks for tuning in.